guys, welcome back. So we've got a super quick haul from um, the Groomed Expo in Atlanta. Uh, I didn't really need a lot of stuff. This was all stuff that was given to me and uh, this I bought. That was it. I really did not need a lot. So anyway, let's go ahead and start with what I paid for. This is the lemonade from Best Shot. This I was told by, I know some of you guys in the cold done grooming insisted I had to get this. So um, she said it works really well, it has a really good finish, and that it smells like lemon cookies. And I am a huge lemon dessert fan, so I'm really excited about, about that because I've been very weird on smells recently. So um, I'm hoping I really like this, so let's see. Oh my God, it does, it smells just like a lemon dessert. That's really good, okay. So they only had the gallons, but anything Nicole tells me about, like, I know is going to be good. So I just went ahead and got the gallon. So um, if you guys want a specific review on this product, just let me know. And I can do that for you. So lemonade. I'm going to hand this off to Becca. If you want to just throw that under that cabinet there with the other stuff. We're doing a super quick day today. This is normally our cleaning day. But since I only worked two days last week with taking time off for Atlanta, um, there's just not a lot to clean in here. So... The next thing that I got is this, a I'm going to fuck up this name every time, Aeolus mat. And I was talking to Melanie, Grooming by Melanie, I think is her name on Instagram. And uh, she had a good point that this would be good over the table mat. I'm noticing that this is super big though. They gave me this to try and it is pretty. Hold on, I'll show it to you. Damn, this is big. That's so pretty, like mountainy, but Mel was saying it would be good to like put over. But look, it's gonna hang. I don't know if you guys can see that. I can angle the camera in a second. Even with the um, the it being at the very base there, it's gonna hang over. So I'm probably gonna put that on my other table over there. It'll add something for the background. So um, now I fucked up and I loosened this, and there we go. I was about to say. Goodness, I'm getting two calls at once. How is that even possible? One's a spam call, and then if you should want to throw that over there. One's a spam call, and one's like a random person. So, anyway, that was the next thing. The Yolis mat, I think those are $65. Um, but definitely keep in mind, I don't know how, what size this table is. Um, it fits big dogs, but uh, that is way big. It'll fit on that table over there, though, I'm pretty sure. We'll, we'll try that in a little while. Um, so the next thing I got to try, this is the new Harry Hound line. You guys have already seen the, um, a couple of the Harry Hounds there in my backpack over there, which is the next video I'm going to work on after this. I have to finish that one up. I had, uh, started it before Atlanta. We were packing it together and I wanted to finish up and tell you guys how I liked it actually using it. So these boxes, they're still working on. She said that the curves especially are not laying as flat as they'd like, but once they get them nailed, these are really nice boxes. So they're magnetic and they open on both sides. So these are all hairy hounds. Again, this is the 7.5 Elite. So this is a thinner. And I did try this one on hammer at the trade show and I did like it, which I wasn't honestly expecting it to. It's similar to this one from GSH. I'll pull this one out. This is a 7.566 tooth. That's gotta be the curve. Let me see what how many teeth the other one are. Other one is. Hello. 56. Okay, so this doesn't have quite as many teeth. This one to me almost looks identical though. No, this one's 56 teeth. Because I noticed this one's a little bit more fine. I will say, so this is the hairy hound one. This is GSH. They're very, very similar. Um, I will say when I was using them, they did jam at one point when I was using it around the feet, but I loosened it a little bit. If you don't know how to loosen your shears, it's just this dial here and you only want to do like a click or two at a time. So I loosened it a little bit and it didn't jam again after that. So, um, that was my only complaint with those, but I was using these two on hammer's feet at the trade show and, uh, so far so good. So I have a couple shears I want to take out of here anyway that I'm not using actively. So I'm trying to just fill my quick grab stuff up here with stuff that I'm actually using every day. So we'll throw those in there with our stuff. And then that's the hairy hound. I'm gonna put these towards the back. So these are they're the same length, but they have more teeth. So that means it's gonna be a more fine finish with the um 
the GSH one that has the more teeth. The more teeth they have, the more fine finish. Does that make sense? Um, so that's gonna be like the really like blended, like line free kind of vibe. Anyway, so um, next thing we've got is just their straight. To me, a straight's a straight, but you know, I think this one, my other one's in my bag. I think the other one I have is a six inch. So this is a little bit bigger, nice and smooth. Um, oh, that's cute. It says in our blood. Can y'all see that? Cute. Anyway, because this is this is all family owned, and they're doing these like in honor of like their grandkids and stuff like that. So it's like family thing. It's cute. Oh, and I said they they corrected me on this at the trade show. Their little logo. I said in my haul, I think I was like, oh, it's like a cat dog, and they said it's not a cat dog. It's just a dog. Um, and they said that they get calls all the time because this is their logo for their. Um, wait, no, we want this in here. This is their logo for their. Um, vans too because they have a mobile fleet <laughs> and they said they get people that call sometimes and they're like why don't you do cats you've got a cat on your wrap I still think it looks like a cat dog but it's not it's just a dog according to them so anyway that is the hairy hound shears that we got the next thing we got this is all no it's not all hairy hound a lot of it is but it's not all hairy hound so these I'm excited about because I have the GSH wooden slip slicker it's in my bag Everything's packed right now. That's part of what I'm doing out here is unpacking, but I'm leaving the bag right now because I'm going to show you guys unpacking and all that. Anyway, so, um, these are, I really like the wooden slicker. They're, they've got the shorter pins, so they're not like the, um, GSH brushes that they have, like the, the long pins, like the Chris Christensen and all that. So this is better for like hair that's not overly long. I'm excited. I think this one will be a good one around the faces and stuff. I really like the small ones for that. And then they have like a mid-size and these are this one the little one was $5.95 this one's $8.95 I'm not sure on the shares but I'll link their website if you want to look into those um and then the big one is $11.95 I'll show you in a second so this is nice they're lightweight good pins all that nice I'm excited to try these out I'll be using a lot of stuff this week so if you want to see any specific um demos or whatever specific videos on there's any of these products just let me know i did just realize that one of the combs is in that bag i think so i may have to grab that out we'll grab that out at the very end because there's like the one comb i was using at the show i really liked so anyway these are three sizes all the pins are the same length um so this one i'd probably use on the body this will be good on like the shorter legs um and then this one i'd probably use around the face but as i use them uh, that may change but that's my gut feeling so this is not hairy hound we'll just switch to this real quick give me some blade drives they're nine dollars you can always use extra blade drives so i took those let me turn this over there and then we got the kodos clipper blade because y'all know I love my kodos um and that one is $16.95 in case you're curious if you want to go to sharpie shop sharpie you can get them over there so next they gave me a shitload of combs so let's go through them very quickly so this one is a half moon but it's big I wish I maybe I should have done the book bag first because I didn't realize like how much stuff this is a big half moon I wonder do they have like the regular size these both seem big I don't know. I'm, the normal comb is like a six inch comb and this is much longer. So this is $23.95. So these pins you can use on like matted dogs, like your Utsumi comb, you would not want to use on a matted dog because it will bend the teeth, but the stronger metal teeth won't bend. So these are really good for around the faces. So that was, I was telling a lot of people about that at the trade show. This one, they're both $23.95. So Okay, this one is slightly smaller now that I'm really looking at it. Yeah, I think this is closer to the normal size. You'll see how it lines up. It's like slightly smaller. These teeth are closer together than these ones. So that would be nice for different things. I'm gonna have to clear out some of this stuff. I don't use a lot of these combs anyway. I'll get that in a second. We're trying to hurry, which knowing me is not gonna happen, but we have stuff to do today. I gotta go to Target. This, These honest, honestly are like my least favorite combs. I've got... This one's from Fresh. This one's from Summit Sharp. Every company has combs just like this. They're, they're not my favorite. I'm sure there's probably people out there that do like them. I don't hate them, but I don't love them. You know, I, I could live without them. Um, so, oh, a rat tail comb. Okay. 
you don't see as many of these in the grooming industry. These were popular in the cosmetology world. So these are gonna be good for like hammers updo to part with. Um, these are nice. So, um, and I have a few that get their hair pulled up and it just helps you, this tail will help you get a more straight line. So I do like the rat tail comb. That was a good idea. I'm glad to see they did that. So this one, okay, this is similar to the one that's in my bag that we'll grab out at the end. These are more similar to the Jersey pet combs, which you guys know I'm obsessed with. So I'm really excited. I haven't tried this one, but I tried the other one and it's very, very similar to that Jersey pet comb. Um, and that one, shit. I hope this was the bag. I think it's $16.95, which is cheaper. I think the Jersey Pet Combs are like $30. Um, the ones by Olga. Zolita, no, it is Jersey Pet. Zolita's different. Yeah, it's gotta be either $15 or $16.95. I think it's $15 though. Um, these are really, really lightweight. Um, and I don't use them. I like to use them after the dog has already been brushed out because these pins are not quite as strong as like something like this. And this gets through the hair a little bit easier than something like this. So I like these on fully brushed out dogs. Okay. So next, this one's really similar to my Summit Sharp Comb that I use all the time. This one's really good for de-shedding, um, like I said, dematting, those kind of things. More tangled coats. Get out of there, please. Thank you. This is $32.95. So this one's a little bit pricier. But I do these teeth like that are so good, like especially for de-shedding. So when I do de-shed, I would do the um, Ultramax system, shampoo, conditioner, leave-in, and then blow dry, and then brush, and then go through and comb. And I know that sounds like a lot, but it's actually a really quick process. So this one actually seems like it's gonna be similar hair. I don't know. This one does kind of feel like it could be like the ones in the Zoeta family. They've got the different, um, and I can't remember what they call it. This part of the comb, I want to say like bridge or something. I don't know if that's the right terminology. You see how that's different? It's not as thick. These combs are a little bit lighter and I had a Zolita one or the Jersey pet one that looked like this and I bent a tooth on it and it's really wonky. I don't even remember what happened to it, but I think when I had my hand it got jammed in a drawer and one of the teeth bent so bad and I couldn't get it off and I was scared to cut it because then there'd be a sharp edge. So anyway, it's been, it's in my house now. I don't even use it anymore. So I'm hoping this will be more like that. So this would be something I'd use in bigger sections, maybe ears, tails, those kind of things. Um, before I go in with a really fine tooth one. When I'm, especially when I'm dematting, I like to go with the further apart teeth and work my way down. Cause once you can get in with the like really, really fine teeth, like on this one, then, um, you know, everything's fully brushed out. So anyway, I'm glad to see this because that's, I've been telling GSH forever that we need comparison to those Jersey Pet Combs because I'm obsessed with those. They're just so different, um, and very lightweight. So, um, that's really it other than I am going to grab that backpack real quick and I'll show you the comb that is in there. Let me throw these in my cup holder. We're working as we go. <laughs> Getting shit done. I was telling Becca this morning that's how I pack and unpack too is like as I use stuff I pack it or unpack it. So like if I'm about to go out of town I'll wash my hair and then I uh put my shampoo in the bag, you know? So that way I make sure I have everything. I don't know, it's what works for me. So let me grab my big ass backpack. We should some of this shit out of the way. I know that organize a little bit better once I get done with this video, but I'm trying to do fast. Thank you. And uh, we're gonna start at the bottom anyway with this. I'll show you guys how I had everything laid out and I do just spoiler alert I do like how the backpack worked at the trade show so this is the last Harry Hound and like I said I was using this at the show so it's very similar to the Zolita Combs which I'm going to throw back in here Jersey Pet I mean it's almost identical you really can't tell the difference other than the, the Jersey Pet is pink teeth everything is the same they might be from the same man manufacturer I don't know for sure um but 
it looks identical and that's one of my favorite combs this is the summit shark comb i was talking about you see it's the same anyway so that is all i got at the atlanta pet show it was or sorry it's not that anymore it's groomed and i had a lot of fun i wish i could have been there longer but um unfortunately i already had clients scheduled so i couldn't make it there on thursday but it was a lot of fun i always enjoy seeing you guys and i will be back next year so anyway thank you guys for watching i hope you enjoyed this haul and i'll see you in the next one bye